Okay, so today we're just, it's gonna be a cute, easy, small tutorial. I think I just showed what we're going to be making, but we're gonna be making one of these. When I die, I'll come back as one of these. Now, um, you know, perfect to hold a lighter or if you want a lipstick or a chapstick or whatever, maybe, maybe, maybe you want to put a crystal in there, you know, you want to be like, let me just carry my crystals in there and then you can just, you know, do that, be like, I have something special in here, you wouldn't understand, so yeah, honestly, I don't have much to say about this, you do not need that much yarn, but you do need something to mark the spot with, trust me on that one, I learned my lesson the hard way but yeah by the way the uh, parts up you can do whatever color you want obviously so um yeah without further ado this is the tutorial on how to make a um chapstick lighter holder mushroom thingy yeah okay so we're gonna start off with the top of the mushroom because I just think that it's easier, to be honest. Um, not easier, but I don't know, makes more sense, uh, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna start off by making a magic circle, which is basically like a knot. Turn around. And here we have our little pretzel magic circle i'll be using the four millimeter hook and you'll also need a uh, ned need something to mark the beginning of the row with makes it way easier trust me i have tried with and without marking and with marking way easier okay anyways now wrap around go through pull through pull through you basically have a single crochet chain one this counts as a single crochet and now we're going to make si uh, five more so a total of six one two three four five Six. pull the yarn and now you're gonna slip stitch I would recommend uh, in the chain one space uh, that's what, what I was about to say when you make the chain one space I would recommend making it a little bit um, looser so then you can actually go through and pull the yarn through okay so that was the first row now we're going to increase so from six single crochets we're gonna go to 12 single crochets so in the first one you're gonna place two single crochets one two in the second single crochet two single crochets one two and you're gonna do that all around one, two, then in the first one in the chain one space see this is what i'm talking about you want to make it a bit looser you're gonna slip stitch chain one mark and once again we are going to increase but we are going to start off by make, placing one single, single crochet in the first space then 
two single crochets in the next space one two one single crochet two single crochets one two one two one two one two and slip stitch chain one and mark again we're going to increase so one single crochet one single crochet two single crochets we're going to increase in each um, in the third single crochet so one two increase one two increase and you're gonna do this to the end of the row then once again slip stitch no. chain one and this is the last row of increases in this row you're gonna going to increase in each fourth um, single crochet so one two three increase one two three increase once again do this till the end of the row slip stitch chain one and this row and the following row will only be normal rows not increasing so just make sure you slip stitch chain one and now go into each single crochet for this row and the next row and then I will see you guys once again when I'm done with both of them okay so I once again slip stitched and chain one and this is the last row for the upper part of the mushroom and now we are going to do a row of decreases so we give it that you know like mushroom shape so you're gonna single crochet in the first one then go through the second single crochet, pull the yarn through, go through the third single crochet, pull the yarn through, and now you have three loops on your hook. You're gonna pull the yarn through all of them. So one normal single crochet, and now go through, go through, and then pull through all of them and so I don't forget where I started the row okay normal single crochet next space just pull the yarn through next space pull yarn through and that's how you make a decrease
slip stitch, chain one, cut the yarn, and you are done with the top part of the mushroom. You can cut this by the way. Uh, actually, weave it in, but since I um, took it in the single crochets while I was doing the first row, I can cut it. Okay, now we're gonna get started on the lower part of the mushroom. Once again, magic circle, knot, then or a pretzel if you may, and then wrap around, go through, pull through, single crochet, basically chain one, and this counts as a first single crochet. Now we're gonna make four more. For a total of five single crochets. Once again, we're gonna go into the chain one space and slip stitch. Chain one and mark because for this it's pretty confusing where the beginning of the row is okay so we're gonna now once again increase so let's go into the first space with two single crochets The second space also two basically all around till you get to the last until you get to the end so you'll end up with 10 single crochets Once you have 10 single crochets, go into this first spot, slip stitch, and chain one. And now for the next 13 rows, we are just going to repeat this second row. No more increasing or decreasing. Just 10 single crochets. One. Two. Then, then. Slip stitch, chain one, mark, and keep on doing this for the next 12 rows, then I will see you guys once I'm done with that. Once you're done with the 15 rows, you're gonna slip stitch, chain one, and then we are going to chain 30 more. Now we're gonna cut the yarn but leave some space so pull the yarn through but do not make it too tight and now i will show you why okay you want the strap to be on the side gonna take the head of your mushroom and this is the middle right you're gonna pull this yarn 
kind of in the second circle, you know. Okay, so now you have it on one side. Now, just across from it, if you want, you can use your hook, you know, pull it through to pull it through. Pull it through the mushroom head. And now just push this upwards. You want to reopen this um, knot that you made. Okay, after you reopened it, go back and just across from when we started the strap, we are going to slip stitch, chain one, and you just secured the strap of the mushroom. And now you can sew this and this in, and yeah. Now you have your mushroom uh, lipstick holder, lighter holder, whatever you want to put in here. Okay, so this is what this one turned out to look like. It's really cute. She cute or something. I make the chain this small because I want them to be like a keychain thingy or like to hang them on my pants. I don't want them to be like a bag. For that, you would have to chain like maybe 100, 120. But yeah, I just wanted to add it to a bag, you know, like an accessoire. I'm like, oh my God, let me just look for my lipstick. Yeah, that's, that's honestly it for today's video. Have fun. And I hope you enjoyed it. I don't have much to say, to be honest. As I said, it's a short video. So there's no point in making the intro and the outro longer than the actual video. So I'll see you guys with the next video.